So exactly what is it or what does it mean when you intercede? What does it mean when you execute the law of prayer, of intercession? Let's look at Messiah, which is uh, also known as Acts, but Messiah in the Hebrew, 4 and 24. When they heard it, they lift up their voice to Elohim with one accord and said, O Yahweh, you are Elohim who made the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Who by the mouth of your servant, David, said, why do the nations rage and the peoples plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth take a stand and the rulers plot together against Yahweh and, and against his Messiah. For truly, both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together against your holy servant, Yeshua, whom you anointed, to do whatever your hand and your counsel foredained to happen. Now, Yahweh, look at their threats and grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and that the signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Yeshua. Now, this is so important because this is dealing with intercession. They were making intercessions before Elohim when people were speaking against them. They came together with one accord to intercede. And what did they do? They prayed the word of Elohim. Okay, so let's look at another example. And Yasa, in Yasaheya, in Yeshaya, I said Yasaheya, in Yeshaya 53, therefore I give him a portion among the great. He devised the spoil with the strong because he poured out his being unto death and he was counted with the transgressors and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. So let's look at this. This word intercession is paga in Hebrew. And reading from right to left, we have three Hebrew olivets. We have pay, we have gamil, and then we have ein. Okay, so pay, remember, pay means to speak the strong word of the Father. And then gamil, it means to exalt or it means to lift up. And then ein is the power of vision. So when you are making intercessions, this is, this is exactly what you're doing. You are speaking the strong word of the Father. You are lifting up his word and you're lifting up the vision of the Father, not your vision, but the vision of the Father, and you're presenting that before him. All right, and then also in Shemuel Olive 2 and 25, it says, if one man sins against another, Elohim shall judge him. But if a man sins against Yahweh, who shall pray for him? Who shall intercede on his behalf? Well, this word for intercede, it means, um, it is palal in Hebrew, and it means to speak the strong word of the Father intensely, and you're doing this with authority. Remember that the, it is the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous that availeth much. So when we are making these intercessions, we are speaking the strong word of the Father. We're doing this intensely, and we're presenting it before him.